So should you. Doesn't mean I have to live with her. Well, we're kind of inseparable at the moment. Or did you not do biology? Did the music wake you? No, this did. Laura won't leave me alone. If she cares about you, she'd be grateful. Jamie! I'm gonna go get in the shower. You don't have to go. No, it's fine. Oh, do try not to spill that one, yeah? So, how are you feeling? Have you eaten today? I didn't feel like it. Uh, bring her a cheese salad sandwich and some chips. Huh. Is that what you want? Yeah, OK. You don't need to talk to her if you don't want. Gabby, um, I've been trying to call you. Did you follow me in? Well, I saw you came in here, so yes, I suppose I did. That's stalking. I just want you to know how, um, sorry I am. For trying to take over her life. Sorry, can we talk in private? Whatever you've got to say, you can say in front of Kim. I know I uh, upset you yesterday and I'm sorry. Yeah, you've said that. Yeah, I know, I know. I just want to help give you options. Believe it or not, I just want what's best for you. I've always tried to be a good mum and I know I've messed up sometimes, but whatever you want, whatever you need, I will support you. You don't need anyone. You're strong enough to do this on your own. At least someone believes in me. I believe in you. I don't doubt for a second that you can look after a baby. If you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Well, she doesn't need you telling her that. Do you know what? Kim's right. You, you don't. I'm glad she's looking out for you. So you move. You're a great big sister to Dottie and Arthur, and your dad would be so proud of the young woman that you've become. Not after this. Well, he wouldn't judge. Nobody does. You've handled this so maturely. Thanks. I agree. I think it's fair to say that we're both proud of you. Yeah, definitely. I'm a bit worried about Jamie living there. I don't know whether that's a good idea. He just needs to get used to it. Well, he does hate me being there. Well, it's my house and I like having you around. Besides, that baby means you have just as much right to live there as he does. You just need to decide what's best for you. Absolutely. Well, it doesn't quite feel like home. You know, it feels like I'm at a hotel most of the time. Well, we can fix that. We can have your room decorated, or get new furniture, whatever you want. Maybe this could be a fresh start for all of us. Yeah, but it's, it's your decision, OK? I don't want any pressure from either of us. Whatever works for you, yeah. Well, I suppose I could try again. You know, see how things go. That's all I'm asking. You know I only want what's best for you and the baby. Yeah, of course you do. Uh, Kim's been great, actually. Look, I don't need the stress of you two hating each other. <laughs> I don't hate Laurel. Yeah, th I mean, this isn't about hating anyone. It's just about me being worried about you. Well, you don't need to be, because I'm doing just fine. I just need you two to get along, OK? Fine by me. Yeah. Whatever makes you happy. Have you seen Mum? Earlier I did, yeah, but she went out. She didn't say where, sorry. Oh, right. I, um, actually, can we, can we have a chat? Sure. I wanted to apologise for the way I've been. OK. Thanks. Look, I shouldn't have done the things that I did. It was out of order. But it really wasn't anything personal. I never wanted this baby, but you know that. Me and Dawn are together now, so you being pregnant is... It's, it's weird. Yeah, I know, but... Just... Sorry, just let me finish. Um, I shouldn't have tried to manipulate you. And I fully accept that you're going to be having this baby. So, as the father, I'll stand by you. Financially. That's where it ends. That's it. Me and Dawn are serious about each other and she understands the situation. Now, I still think that you going through with this pregnancy is a mistake and one that you'll regret later down the line because ultimately, you're gonna be on your own. Emotionally, that is. 
But so long as you accept that, then, then fine. Do you understand? Have I made that clear? Perfectly. Good. No hard feelings, then? No. Look, I'm not a bad person, Gabby. I just needed you to know where I stand. And, and if we're going to be living in the same house, then, you know, it's best we get on. Agreed? Agreed. Right, then.